Thank you uh, for joining once again to another exciting episode from Saturday Night Gaming. As we present to you another fun-filled, exciting... Gloomtastic. <laughs> Gloomtastic. Gloomstick. Episode of Gloom Reckoning. The band's not quite back together yet, but they're almost there. I found a new drummer. <laughs> hey, you found a couple new crew members, huh? Yeah. Yeah. A groovy uh, and a drummer. Who <laughs> 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 wouldn't start? <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. My name is Laura. I am playing Violet. Um, she is ordinarily the mother figure, although not to this rambunctious child who goes around punching people. So. He's unconscious now. It's fine. To be fair, to be fair. He's very spirited. Yes. Um, hello, my name is Quinn, and I'm... Oh, because you can't yeah, talk because you're unconscious. Oh. <laughs> he's, he's a small, unconscious child right now. <laughs> he got slapped. <laughs> Why? He slapped first, so he just didn't do it effectively. I don't know. Did Stein backhand him or? <laughs> he just skull was him. too thick. <sighs> uh, he used his big brain power. <laughs> you can say your name. I'm Jessica. And she has no name. She's just hot stuff. Um, my name is Tony. Uh, we'll be playing the Strathmore. That's right. Yeah. Everybody needs somebody in the group to uh, mess some stuff up. And that's what I'm here to do. I was locked in uh, some sort of weird bondage dungeon. It was moist. But this <laughs> tall freaking dude, he got me out of there. And there's some hot chick. No, literally, she's on fire. No, no, I'm not. No, it's not figurative. Like, seriously, she is flaming hot. Um, and we're we're going to fight some crap. Get my sword. We're walking guns. up some stairs. <laughs> right, well, that's the inevitability. We're, we're looking for the sword. We need to find the sword, guys. That's the sword. Sword. I don't know you. Sword. Better not be stabbed into a stone. We really need to find the sword. My name is Chuck, and I'm the tall dude that saved the Strathmore. <laughs> you know what? You remember that and write that down. Somebody will buy that book someday because uh, I'm pretty big deal. The Chronicles of Long Neck? The Bards shall sing of this. Yeah. The Bards, yes, they shall sing of it. The big chorus of Bards. The Strathmore was saved by a tall, lanky dude. Vroom, vroom. That'll be vroom, the chorus. <laughs> They're saved by Slender Man. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! Seriously, every time that he describes a character, I can't help but think of Slenderman. <laughs> Duck down when we go through the I door. Have two arms. Uh, I'm, not... <laughs> I'm not one of those things that you see at car lots that. <laughs> yeah, wacky waving and flailing arm to me. Next. Don't go. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Okay. Yes, we're done. All introductions over. <laughs> I'm Ronnie. I'll be playing Dr. Thaddeus Smiles Stein. He feels no need to introduce himself further. Uh, my name's John. Uh, I'll be playing Tom, who is basically a golden silver surfer looking guy with a floating uh, egg head. <laughs> you don't want to tell them about the slapping, Ronnie? John Tom? The slapping. <laughs> the great slapping. <laughs> Oh, the great <laughs> slapping of 1930. Didn't you learn anything <laughs> from, <laughs> from this experience? Yeah, consequences. Oh, slap. Oh, oh, slap. I oh. learned that your actions have consequences. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes. Oh, man. Song well, hopefully when you wake up, you'll be in your right mind. Maybe. Maybe my, my brain might be a little bit scrambled. You've got some big, big old meaty hands. This is your brain. Is your, your brain on Stein? Oh, <laughs> oh, why does it look all disfigured? Oh, God. It's got three eyes. 
It was just a tracking device, guys. Oh, God. It was just a tracking device. It was. It was a tracking device. I checked. It was a tracking device. I was walking around like It runs difference? off of a slightly radioactive material to operate oh, yeah, it's a longer isotope. battery life. But. <laughs> come here, comrade. We take you back to the Chernobyl. <laughs> Every time I inject someone with a tracking device, their Thank face you. melts. But what does this happen? Somehow functioning in a chip. That is pretty gross. <laughs> All right. Let's go and jump back in this now. So what we had left off, uh, we had Violet and Stein and Al and Tom. You guys are making your way to Bloomhold. I'm not making anything. Someone's dragging me. Yeah, you're being dragged. You really are. Ah, uh, the VIP treatment. You're going to need a soldier. <laughs> That's all I can think. Yes. They seem like sleeping in and of course, Blue Hold is the, is the largest building here in the city. No and it's this nice keep. Oh, it's so pretty. I can't tell, but I know it's pretty. <laughs> I feel it in my mind. <laughs> and of course, as you guys, as your group is arriving at it, you notice that this is a heavily fortified <laughs> place. Uh, you you <laughs> see archers, you know, in the towers. Uh, there's plenty of soldiers. <laughs> It's like they have, well, basically an army just sitting here waiting. Waiting for an invasion that, you from can, where? Where would anybody can, invade this place from? Who knows? Well, you know, Sorry. void portals can open anywhere, so. Yeah. And just random strangers could just pop out. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Well, one thing you do I notice about Gloomhold is that uh, Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> this city actually borders kind of on the coast so there's water and you guys can see that from uh Bloom Hole. so the other group is over here in the dungeon of some place well left the dungeon at this point do we see them? Tower. no you don't see them okay because the dungeon is down deep red light okay so we're going to pick back up with you Leaving a dungeon after up the more, stairs. Uh, had an episode. <laughs> I'd say that I was trucking up the stairs, but I'm more of a motorcycle. Yeah, he's so. crawling up on his hands. He's going. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just doing like this, you know, with my legs wide, kind of going. Oh my god! And then we're you have to say "boom" for me. These like are some the horse really uh, tall stairs that we're walking up here, guys. Let's just, let's just walk. <laughs> I miss that motorcycle. Do you float or do you actually walk? Sort of like float. Okay. She's I don't really float. have a body. She kind of levitates. Hovers and, but there's like scald marks where she goes. <laughs> like a lawnmower. If you just sit in the grass too long, it just burns it. Yeah. Don't go around hardly. Well, it's like put, put down some uh, a little bit too much uh, pre emergent weed killer and then wait a day. Let's just say he's got an imaginary friend named Harley. <laughs> <laughs> and her brother David. Oh. Son of David. <laughs> Son of David. Son of David. Son of David. <laughs> there you go, that's your new line. Son of David. Alright, so yeah, I'm, I'm walking up the stairs. Uh, I'm just going to keep going until I find something that makes yeah. me stop. Well, it's cold and damp as you're walking up, but you got the heat coming slipping. off of yeah, the Yeah, there's heat. You know, yeah. Got my own and heater. we can see. You have light fire. source. Yeah. Oh, yeah, also, I can see. You can see. As long as I don't, don't look directly into her. I want the sun. <laughs> <laughs> like your eyeballs aren't going to melt in. <laughs> just fire. But then when I look away, I see the ghost. Oh, it'll just, ruin your night vision? Yeah, yeah. Okay. just, just trick well. Oh, Even though it's never night around you. you know, Make your way to the door at the top. <laughs> Another right. door. I'm going to kick it, it <laughs> just gonna kick it open. We're just going to kick it. You know it opens inward. Come out, ghost! What if there's a what if there's a handle and we could just open it? Oh, do you want to like? Do you have hand sanitizer? <laughs> she is a hand sanitizer. <laughs> 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 I'm good to kick it open. Pandemic okay. X could be uh, around here, guys. Yeah, you don't know. I've been some places. I've seen things. I've seen things. I used to have a helmet. If we had alcohol, I doubt we'd be using it to pour on our hands. All right, kick door open. All right. See, even he's putting on hand sanitizer. 
think he's waiting to <laughs> to kill me. To vroom vroom. <laughs> you back down the stairs. You, you kick down the door. Go vroom vroom. <laughs> vroom vroom. The Strathmore's here. <laughs> All right. So you kick the door. And what's your physique? Fifty-five. All right. That's good enough for these doors. Yeah. For this door, let's put it that way. Yeah, you kick it's the door. It's not a gate, is it? No. Okay. You kick the door. It Take just comes it straight off the hinges, falls flat on the ground. As it does, it gathers the tension of every single person that's in that room. Of course it does. So yeah. it's All you see is soldiers oh boy. looking directly at you. Knuckle up. Flame door. I'm going to stand behind him and sort of like flame, flame up so that he looks like he's got flames all around him. No. <laughs> I thought it was like this. <laughs> so let's say that's the stairway here. No. no. Oh, stairway to heaven? <laughs> oh, stairway stairway a, out of the deepest That one's going of down. So. <laughs> God. That's going the other direction. <laughs> so he's in the doorway. Right. Yeah, he's in the doorway. Okay. Can I get behind him and Are make him my look, guards? Can I make him look all flamey? By standing behind him? Like yeah, an aura? These are all the guards here. Yeah. I mean, can I stand behind him and like... Can I roll my intimidation while she does that to see if they will buy this? It's like that scene from Mulan. You know? I'll be behind him with a flame. Like... Yeah, intimidation is not going to work here. Oh. The we commander is a little more intimidating than you are. Oh. Is it? <laughs> Do I recognize him? Who? The commander. He's not in the room. Oh. They well, they should still be able to intimidate them. Wait, hold up. Are they the ones in the room? Are they? We're not in there, no. no. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, no, we're really How many there. guards yeah. do I see? Uh, quick count, 12. That's a lot. Okay. Well, let's see what we can do. Or y'all stand back and pretend like they didn't see you. Well, she has area of effect, <laughs> so maybe you should stand back. Yeah, because I didn't yeah, get the thing. Yeah, she has air of effect, but she doesn't have cautious. So if you stand in there, Which she's going to burn you too. How often do I get cautious? There's about two that are right outside the door. Trap in the I just rolled a two for a feed. Life train. For a what? What are you trying to do? Oh, to, He's to trying feed drink. on him? Mm -hmm. Are there any loose weapons on the walls? If he feeds on them, do they like die? Do they get weaker? What happens when he feeds on them? Uh, same thing you do when you set them on fire. <laughs> they start weakening and okay. then eventually just. So he's like, is it a soul? What is he's, he eating? Yeah, essentially he's draining their lives. He's the soul guy from yeah. what we do in the shadows. Yeah. Bat. He's a no, emotional vampire. Oh. Are there any sharp objects laying around? There are on the wall, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of those. <laughs> that? There's a mace, actually. Nope, I want the sharp object. There's a what? I don't want a blunted object, I want a, a blade. Okay. That's across the room. You gotta run past a few of them. Tuck and roll. So, tuck and roll. That. Room, room. That? <laughs> I made it. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, I can't read that. That's a zero. Oh, that's a zero. 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 I see now. And three. that's a three. Nice. Now, if you want me to take my... What am I taking off of that? My <laughs> dex. That is a crit success, sir. That Yay! Is. Are you clapping for yourself? I am. <laughs> He's patting himself on the back. Because I just freaking made it. So, <laughs> you run across the room. Well, first, I do this. Boom! And then, and then I run. I tuck and I roll. We'll do this. Ah! Jazz hits. Jazz hits. Yeah. <laughs> so you go past six of them as they try to stop you. Um, and you're just, Too slippery. you know, vaulting over weapons. You're diving under. You're able, able to grab the sword off the wall and also strike. So go ahead and roll this damage. Like a a football game. All right, so I have a 69 wow. blades. What would be my damage die? D10. <laughs> Which is one of those that you have right now. Yeah. Oh, right. I knew that. <laughs> Seven! Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, you take down two of them. Wait, and, uh, yeah, because I don't have these things yet. Orlock, you took down one. He did it so well that not only did you do that, but the other four didn't even react to you. Why? 
Like, because I cut through one of their throats and then I was on my downswing, I cut through the other one's uh, big artery on his thigh. <laughs> Believe me now. Well, as uh, as you take them out, uh, they basically turn to their soul and just dissipate. Yeah. As you strike them, you realize these guys don't have blood. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> They're kind of hollow on the inside. Oh. Uh, kind of like, uh, you know, clones. That's what happens to people that wait for the corn too long. What? We have to have this. <laughs> we bleed. I'm pretty sure Stein no. maybe gave me a nosebleed. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Burn them, baby. I'll burn a couple of them. Or I'll try. Can I do a re- Oh, I don't want to do a reflex. That's it's fine. You can do a reflex. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, but I don't have the cautious thingy. Isn't that going to attack them? You just take disadvantage. I don't know what so that means, but once. just tell me what to do. Which, since you have advantage, basically you just roll once like normal. You just take your first roll instead of doing two. Okay. Yep. So Is that roll. this one? You roll. You roll the two percentage. And the yeah, so I guess you the put D10. the other one back in your little case. Which one? Percentage? Oh. You already got your percentage dice out. See, this is, yeah, yeah, this dude. 83. 83, it's not bad. That's, That's bad. That could be worse. 83. <laughs> kill everyone. What does that mean? What does I do, an area of effect? Yep, yeah. area of effect. What does it mean that it's one of my exploits? Nothing. That just means it allows you to use it. Yeah, it allows area. you to okay. do it. And so go ahead and roll damage. Roll d12. Mm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Strathmore gets hit by it too. Twelve. Oh, Max oh. <laughs> Woo-hoo. Boy. How do you right. do? Jeez. So can I roll anything? Took and roll. You're on fire. <laughs> Are you gonna stop, no, drop, and roll? At this moment we'd be rolling to see if we could evade your fire. You're gonna stop, drop, and roll, aren't you? Well the yeah. defense. <laughs> no, yeah, your defensive skills are part of your armor. Yeah. What what's your, your soak? It's five. Five? Yeah. Oh, so you want you take seven after that. So where seven put you at? Wounded. Oh, okay. There you go. So we don't have a reaction time to her? Not at all. No, it's built in with yeah. your defensive skill. That's why I told her I didn't want to use her effect. Well, I don't you didn't have, have to fail. Thing. And you didn't have to roll high you on had to roll, damage. roll max damage. That's why I said she can't use her That's effect. why she's not yeah. to use it. Alright. But she is a fire spirit, so she just lets go and <clears throat> Which she successful with rolling that high, she burned everything in that room. Right, so where are they at? Including you. Yeah, I got that. So everything's on fire. It hurts. No, they're, they're, they're gone. Everything's oh. dead. She just that was, incinerated yeah. them all. Quit yeah. trying to hurt me. You're going to want cautious. You're welcome. <laughs> Burn stuff and then you hey, slap Hey, you survived me. and they're all dead. It's just charred and you're slapping me. <laughs> so she just, did you die? just let loose a fire blast. Just let loose in the entire room. Charred everything. You've got a blocking spot on you now. All right. I'm picking up another sword. Walking out of here with two swords. So is he still... This is a side question, I guess. From the first Gloom game, mm-hmm. anytime he took damage, he would get stronger. Um, the inner fire would light up and I would get stronger. I don't feel that right now. <laughs> no, <laughs> you, you feel you pretty burnt. <laughs> I just feel fire. You were an emulator, weren't you? Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. Okay. So now you could play NES games. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right. Oh. Um, so, after that, the door busts down at the other side of the room. And through that door. Is it my healer? No, opposite of that. Uh oh. Oh no. A big guy. I like him big. He's about as large as uh, Orlock over here as far as height goes, but he's much more built. And of course, he just kind of, you know, cracks his knuckles. Which means he doesn't have a weapon on his hands. No. He charges towards you. All right. Two swords up. Or you just attack So, him? out of a 69, I'm going to hit him with... Nice. Uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> um, Are you just attacking him? Oh, yeah. Oh, you don't have to roll the uh, the attacks as well damage. Oh, but I did really freaking well, man. Well, just, you had D10 for your damage. Just use that for your damage. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, nine. Yeah. yeah. And you had to... Uh, oh, you don't have to do a will for the uh, weapons. You have it for the, uh, for the pistols, right? Well, I do have dual wielder. Will? Yeah. 
but that's it. So oh yeah, you, should you do take have a dual dis- wield. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Disadvantage. Well, I mean, it doesn't reduce your damage, so yeah, that's basically your two damage right there for each weapon. Yeah. Cool. So what'd you get? Nine. Nine and zero. That's this a, ten. a ten. Yeah. Nice. Eight me. All right. Well, I mean, both don't. of those combined. Also don't. <laughs> says he charges you. Go ahead and give us the uh, description of what you do. So basically, he's big, right? He's yes. Coming, he's coming at me full force like this. Oh, yeah. I'm just going to stab him in both of his armpits. Cause <laughs> nobody armors this area. And actually, if, if I do it just right, I'll, I'll hit him in some arteries right here. So I'm just going to stab him right in his armpits. Just a scratch. <laughs> All right. Just a bunch of scratch. Just a yeah. scratch. Well, it's good enough. Tuck and roll, roll backwards. We'll watch him. Your arm is open. Get back here. Oh As you do, you know, when he hits the wall, he basically disperses into the spirit energy. Uh, these things. They even got a little bit on you. So, hang on. Lanky. Yeah? You eat people's energy. Do you give any of that? Like healing-wise? No, it's all for me. <clears throat> Sorry. Hot stuff. Got any got any healing mumbo jumbo going on over there? Like in theory. Oh, <laughs> like in theory. That's a that's a book about werewolves, <laughs> right? Like she can cauterize wounds. <laughs> she can stop you from bleeding. Are you bleeding though, or are you just sort of like oozy? What kind of a burn is no, it? No, just blisters. Okay. Third degree. Oh. So uh, is the guy still coming at him, or yeah, is he dead? It was fire oh, no, damage. He, He's already yeah, cauterized. Okay, so rooms um, cleared. We're gonna keep going. Yeah, let's Do, keep going. Tell me if you see my stuff. I can't. I'm having a hard time seeing right now. Is it? A, did it blister your face? Yeah, my eyes feel charred. <laughs> I, I find it hard to see anything at this moment. So if you could look around for my stuff, that'd be nice. Can I look around and see if there's stuff? Sure. That's no, not burnt. Yeah. Specifically, my stuff. <laughs> is what I said. <laughs> She's being real vague about it, but I was very clear on my instructions. Well, let's put it this way. Everything that was in this room that could be melted was. All right, look for anything that's not melted that looks like it's mine. Really big sword. That big puddle right there. I know what the sword good. looks like. Possibly a motorcycle. It kind of looks like it right there. <clears throat> she just knows Where's everything. The hell? Oh, it melts while I'm watching it. I hey, know, shut up. You're still asleep. I know what the sword looks like. <laughs> He's not, not even in the room. I like to see the sword <laughs> Yeah, it's not in here. You don't even have to. Yeah, I'm, why would the sword be in here? That's way too obvious. Where is it? That's what I'm asking you to do. Perceive where I should Can we go, go through the next door and maybe find out? Well, I mean, think about it. It's like, who would have taken it from you when you took your prisoner? The freaking commander. <laughs> the dude that wants my boot in his butt. Let's go through the next door. How many see. doors are there? I don't know. I can't see. I'm on fire. You're not on fire anymore. You just have a few blisters. Well, the blisters are my irises and my corneas. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's uh, see how many doors there are. I need you to guide me. I have, I'm having a hard time perceiving. How many see, doors yeah, are there? Uh, there was two doors. You busted down one, right. and the other guy busted down the other one. Well, let's, let's go through, go through the door. <laughs> Hold my hand. I can't see. What's it like having a seeing eye flame? Seeing eye flame. You want me to hold your hand, or are you going to complain about your hand being blistered? I can't so feel it anymore. Third degree burns. There are going to All right. So, um, what do we perceive through this door? Another hallway. Oh. Okay. How many doors are on this hallway? Uh, well, you'll find once you get down that hallway. Oh, okay. All right, so as they're exploring, <laughs> I'm assuming you're trying to find your way to the commander, I'm guessing, right? Or yeah. Just yeah. Anywhere. The sword. We want to find the sword. That's not the dungeon. Yeah. Really, pretty much just want to find my stuff. Yeah, we want to find the yeah. sword. I mean, he could Very be gone, and that'd be fine with find me, too. Or sleeping. I'll be stealthy. You're not stealthy. I can't see, that's why. I am actually no, stealthy. No, it's because you yell vroom vroom. That's not stealthy. <laughs> Well, it's because I have a 15 still. <laughs> I'm going to kick down the door instead of quietly opening it. Well, if you open it quiet like, it goes... Versus... Kick it open, it goes... Like Nixon That's from exactly Futurama? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So moving to the other group over here, you are being escorted by your lovely soldiers. 
I didn't even have to pay for this escort. <laughs> <laughs> Well, they're nicer to me than the kid was, so, you know. Yep. Now, Al, you actually wake up. Oh. Hmm? Oh. Is he still being drugged? Dragged? Dragged? Dragged. Or dra yeah. Drugged. I mean, <laughs> Stein, he did drug me. But is he, is he being, is he, as is he's waking, is his head still like... Is he being strung yeah. along? Well, now you're in the castle, so it's kind of, it's more smooth. Oh, okay. I can walk, thank you. Oh, look. I can walk, thank you. Finally. Please let me go, mister. I don't want to break Oof. your hand. Don't do that for He's not a valley He girl. lets you go. He's a kid. <laughs> right when he's about to walk up the stairs. Oh, you're an idiot. Is it a little bit chilly in here? He looks over and says, get up, Munchkin, let's go. Why the what? Nobody. I mean, nobody calls me Munchkin. Oh, here we go again. <laughs> I put on a hoodie. You just woke up. Do you want to do this right now? <laughs> I'll let it slide this time. Slap him in the head. <laughs> I'm going to walk up the stairs. So what happened? Um. Did you knock me out? No. You was it the hit man? that guy and he backhanded ah. you. Your strength is admirable. My father would like you. So you do have parents. He's ignoring yes. me. He He's like, I not literally not told him you kidnapped me from my father woman. Yes, but do you not listen? <laughs> you are obviously lying because you said I kidnapped you. Am I? I don't know you. My dad's gone. As far as I'm concerned, you did kidnap me. <laughs> you are a stealer of children, lady. I, I saw the face of my father, and then I wake up, and here you are, being useless, handing out flowers. Key thing to remember here is he has not forgotten the face of his father. <laughs> yes. It's what's Wait, getting me through these hard that. times. That's copyright. <laughs> so is Vroom Vroom. What am I going to do? <laughs> but, maybe if you prove yourself useful, no, I will re redact that statement of you being a kidnapper. Did you kidnap me? <laughs> Listen, this is the amnesty hour. You can understand tell the truth. my situation. I am in a strange land with a strange woman it I've never like a young seen. John Malkovich. How did I get here? Where is my papa? <laughs> oh my He's God. not talking in the right voice. Why did Papa it? go da da? So as you guys are I talking. can't do it, Chuck! <laughs> I just can't. My voice isn't built for that. As you guys are no, talking job, no, and fine. walking, you see in this hallway, this is a, well, it's nice by the city standards, but it's still dark and dreary. They really enjoy the color black around here. <laughs> so, I mean. You think they saved load on paint? Yeah, probably. I prefer purple. And my bulbs. You have black and, and you have gold, bulbs. and it's just all strewn throughout. But even the uh, the tapestry is torn. You know, nothing's in great condition here. Some of the stone looks like it's been chipped away. I think they need to hire a new decorator. But does it come in black? I can care. They can use flowers. I think they like yes, they could use some flowers. All the bases are Oh, chipped. you better hurry up to it then, Susan. Karen. Karen! <laughs> and then your tour ends at these large black iron doors. Oh, stay away from me. <laughs> Not a fan of iron doors. Don't grab them. And two soldiers standing outside of those doors. Mm -hmm. And they seem to carry a higher rank as they are dressed differently than the common soldiers that escorted you. Mm -hmm. And then they open the doors, mm -hmm. and as they do, Wait, you take a view into the throne room. Okay. <laughs> Is he still injured? I don't know. Are they empty? I keep all these? You're healed. Okay, cool. okay, just yeah, you check. can heal that lethal. That was a nice... What about... Uh, I'm assuming the KO goes away too. Since yep, KO, yeah, because you're awake. That was a nice nap. <laughs> <laughs> The and the soldiers, they're behind you. And then they stop. And then, of course, they motion into the room. They said, the commander will see you now. Fancy. Who is your commander? You will soon find out. 
Everyone here is useless. <laughs> See, that's what I keep thinking. I guess you will soon find out your blah 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 answers. I'm sure the commander will have answers. answers. He wants answers. What was what's with the blah blah blah? What does blah 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 mean? I go in the door. <laughs> so all of you go in? Yeah, I guess so. What you're doing right now? Well, I'm being escorted inside. Yes. Mm, well, I mean, no. Do you keep the escort? I mean, you're remaining outside. You get you them for the night, in. don't you? I mean, you've got these guys. Wait, is it air conditioned? <laughs> no. It's a little drafty. Is yeah. it moist? Oh. Very. Oh. Mm. It's horrible. I go inside. Yeah, I guess we'll look There's nothing for me out here. Is it humid? Yeah, we have nothing better to do. <laughs> yeah. I wish I had more of those cookies. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I ate the last ones. Who are you, sir? Wait a second, I know you. It's a voice in the distance. <laughs> the far distance. distance. Voice. <laughs> it's coming out of the vents. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so as you see, the sin on the throne is a large man, about 6'4. Armored. Armored, heavily armored. Horny. I mean, horny. <laughs> What? Horned. We've got yes, horny horns. guys, we've got escorts. Yes. Well, uh, <laughs> this is really shaping up to be a evening. Should home. I be here? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is this child appropriate? And of course, sitting next to him uh, is a large sword, great sword, is on it one a side. Fiery sword? No. Aww. Then on the other side is another large weapon, which. You recognize Violet. Ooh, what is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's Strathmore's blade oh. that he was given prior to you arriving here. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. This is not a blade that I would have seen given my past, correct? Uh, I point. don't know if you would have seen that or not. I what mean, is time? If he was raised by the... Now, you had a blade at the time? Did you? Well, that's kind of a... <laughs> An inlay, so it, mm -hmm. I don't know. It's a bootstrap. I kind of left it open ended for like, specific reasons. Yeah. I would say it looks familiar, but you don't recognize it. Mm -hmm. I'd recognize it. If you were told stories about it. Yeah. It doesn't look as cool as his. <laughs> this kid's useless. Stein, you recognize it immediately. How'd you come across that sword? Did I say you could talk? Ooh, burn. Ooh, I was going to say the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> I really like that kid. You are in my court. Remember that. <laughs> Your court? Who are you? Well, maybe if you let him talk, he would tell us. I'm their commander. I am known as King Sadim. You are in my realm. Oh. It's nice to meet you, I'm Violet. He just stares at you. Can I tell past his helmet? Now that is that he's staring at? Yeah, because he's got the little uh, kind of slits in the front of it, so you can tell you can you see his eyes. Him gold now his mouth flowers. is a little janky, but <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't yeah. have purple eyes. Does Try he? to give him some. He flowers. does not. Okay. Maybe Pretty he flowers. just needs flowers. flowers. I did bring flowers. some violets. He has but... kind of green skin. Oh, wait a second. Are you, are you, are you feeling okay? I don't think he is. King Sadim? <laughs> You're looking a little green in the gill there. Mm. Does he have gills too? Mm. I, I don't know. Who knows? He, he looks at the, the four of you. And he says, where are the others at? As he looks over at his... Soldier. And the soldier says, We have sent a uh, word to the dungeons. <laughs> we have not heard dead. back yet. He looks word a little uneasy. We're in a Sergeant Word. The word got incinerated. <laughs> All right. Send, send major note. <laughs> The word of today is incinerate. <laughs> Maybe. 
beautiful fire burning <laughs> But no, Maybe. he looks at the soldier, he kind of just starts growling. Oh. And he says, quickly, go secure the prisoner and bring him here. Strathmore cannot be left alone. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's whoa, reasons whoa. why. <laughs> and, there's my, and there's my answer of where the sword came from. What do you want to do? What do, we have, what do you have against uh, Strathmore there, Mr. Almighty King? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Strathmore and I have unfinished business. Like, are you the reason why I grew up in a hut? <coughs> I don't even know who you are. Ah, oh, jeez. <laughs> now you're just making yourself look like a fool. I would like to create a void portal over by the sword and reach in and grab it and pull it out. Oh, you can do that too? Let's try it. <laughs> can I try and help her? Maybe. She can try. Don't have a problem. She's not able to right now. Oh. No! Dang. She begins to uh, form and create the portal, but as she does, as it opens, it quickly closes. Do you I see like hey, quick. The, the hey, lady. Do you normally have a problem opening like portals with the room? Well, uh, the last place that I was in was kind of weird about that, too. I like how they're normally Actually, you have to roll. You can just take time to observe. Yeah, we're just talking. Oh, like, oh God. Uh, I haven't gotten there yet, I don't know. And, like, my, I'm wondering if I, like, I don't, when I knew her, she didn't have that power, but I recognized the power for it. Mm -hmm. See, this man here looks vaguely familiar to me, but I... It's like I know him from. A patron of years ago. It's like, like I know him from like a dream. Wait, or were you her yes. years ago? It's like no, as no, if no, you've no, seen no, him no, in no, your no, dreams, no, like no, having deja vu no. basically right mm -hmm. now. That's what you're having. Interesting. Yes. So I see you're looking at me. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna start standing up straight and like kind of like. He's like flexing for her. Flex. She's like you don't even have hair. <laughs> Fix this fire. Egg thing. Just, uh, I grow some hair. Her <laughs> Make sure it's still shiny. Long luscious Get locks. Get rid of the up giant of glowing can, egg head. Like, it's, it's a. Uh, it's like cotton candy. Like yeah. polishing your your eyebrows here. Yeah. <laughs> oh goodness. It's like pinkish. Flames. So the king recognizes your attempt at that, and he tells you, and he says. You are in my realm. Well, probably. <laughs> Your Ooh. tricks do not work as well here. We'll see. Today. We'll see about that. <laughs> we'll figure it out. It'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Are there yes. any vents around but here? He looks at his soldiers and he says, Did they bring the item? And his, his uh, soldiers quickly walk over to Al and bump into him to make him move forward. Hey, you can just ask nicely. And he says, this one has it. What? An item? What is it? What, what do you, you have? Bring? What did you steal? Uh oh. Search my pockets. I got me. I got he has blend. a tracking device. <laughs> I pull out a receipt from whoever's <laughs> jumpsuit Strathmore put on me in the previous world. Falafel? <laughs> <laughs> Ah, it's a cannoli. <laughs> so you reach into your pockets and you pull out, and what you find is a ring. But it has nothing in it. Uh -oh. It's just a metal, a band. That's all it is, just a band. It nothing doesn't have a black it. stone. Does no, it? nothing said oh, okay. in it. You could teleport. I don't know how I got this. But and then you the know, king, finders keepers, and that's what Dad always said. And then the king says, <laughs> "And don't cry, or you get hit." That's <laughs> that's is why you have been brought to me. Bring it here. <laughs> I don't. I'm, the ring. The ring. I, I I don't think I'm old enough to get oh, let me married. See it. <laughs> and to be honest, uh, you know, he motions and then the soldier it pushes you. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Oh, that'll be funny anymore. <laughs> Never give up the ghost. I just want to look at the ring a little bit. Sarcasm it's, in the face. Just like, at all look times. at it. Can I look at it? So what do you do? <laughs> what do you want the ring for? I, I mean, you're probably not going to tell me, but I figure I might as well ask. And if I ask real nice like, you might tell me. It belongs to me. I don't see your name on it. I'll check for his name real quick. Actually, it's in Oh! <laughs> Is it in a language he recognizes? Do I read it? Backwards? Yeah, he sees an engraving on it. Did I ever teach him how to read? 
Uh, I hope yeah, so. but, but not this language. Not this. Oh yeah, what do I remember? Mm. Mm. I see some scratch marks. Milkman. <laughs> I see it. It looks like in what, what, what I would know to be an M in the Lorian. Oh. No, the milkman was your father. Now hand it over. Oh, oh no, no, no. <laughs> My dad gave me a letter that said that once. <laughs> Daddy didn't, didn't raise no fool. Could uh, I read it? What can this Why ring I do? I mean, if I'm giving it to you anyways, I don't see the harm. And it you, does nothing. Well, then why do you want just, it? It's my property. Is it sentimental? What do I get for it? Yes, very sentimental value. Kind of just like, can you I get try to, to live. Can I try to get well, a read I mean, off it? Well, I mean, what if I don't want to? Do it. Can I try to get a read off it so it's important? Sure. What do you, what do you think, uh... Peanut gallery. He's looking two bald guys. Well, let me look at it. Well, if, if I give it to you, he might kill me. Yeah, you can tell. Right. Basically, it's uh, right now. It's just ordinary. Can I let him look at it? You know, it's obviously Mr. missing Man. whatever goes into it, but it's uh, you Mr. can read the inscription. Mr. Bulky Arms guy. Doesn't want to get it you know, his name on it. He's not going to be so, worried with now you. how he, he got it. Cares about you is because you have the ring. So then his attention will be on me. That's true. I flick it like, ping, and I catch it, and I. Read the inscription. Yeah. It oh, says no, it's his name. name. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> the language looks like it's jumbled up squigglies. Are you going to give it to him? Um, I'm curious. Why I don't think I will. So sentimental. Do I? I don't. Do I know anything? When you read out, when you read it, it says to my beloved. Oh. 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 Wait, what's the beloved? It's that stuff about the who I told you you didn't need to worry about. Is that why I don't have a mom? So, like, can I sense any kind of power in it? Oh, no! <laughs> no. God. Yeah, she just, she <laughs> oh, attempted God. the same thing. Oh, it's, 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 it's just a ring. Oh, Mama Emery. <laughs> <laughs> Mama Kidnapper. So, like, yeah. is it the size <laughs> of, like, a male finger or a female finger? Male. Okay. It's like size 13. <laughs> Oh, that's good. That's a big finger. Yeah. He's I'm a big ten. Guy. That's that's a big. He's a large finger. guy. He's like yeah. six four. Well, okay. I'm like that's a ten too, but my hands are the same size as yours. So. I don't know what I am. No one's ever given me a ring. Well, maybe you could be his beloved now. Maybe. maybe. Ask him. I get down. Can he be your beloved, Mr. King? I'm on one knee. I'm like with this ring. Oh God, yes. <laughs> 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 We, I do, you win. He takes the ring from you. <laughs> so you accept. He, he oh, has to. He took it. To You're he the queen. Oh, I throw flowers. Here we are. Everyone cheers. The guards are like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he takes the ring and he puts it on. Ah, oh, crikey. <laughs> then he uh, reaches for his sword. And then he, from his sword, he takes what appears to be a onyx gem. Oh! Oh! If Strathmore was there! <laughs> and then he places it on his ring. And as he does, you can feel and you can feel power just start surging into the ring itself. Uh, what, what kind no. of power is it? Destructive power. Oh. Yeah, I can tell y'all about it. Y'all about to tell about And then you can see the energy surround oh. his fist as he closes his hand. And he says... It has much sentimental value. Its first victim was the queen. Wait, I'm the queen now. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Look like you're not like the wrong man, everybody. Okay, can I attempt to teleport away? <laughs> oh, you don't teleport. Can I just go away? <laughs> well, I have like a teleport ability. And then he says, soldiers, take them to the dungeon. Uh-oh, we're about there. to meet these really people. Really Mm, you're going to the dungeon for extraction. That doesn't to. sound nice. That's not bad. He says, you see, this ring, it needs energy. You will provide much of that energy. I kind of raise my hand. <laughs> <laughs> what if I don't want to? <laughs> That's a very astute question. Thank you.